It's finally there! Now you can blur your OBS camera background like this. And you can do it just with one single click right from OBS. There's only one thing I'm skeptical about and more about it in a minute. You may have seen many videos on this topic, including one of mine, but actually it was a bit complex and the result was not as accurate as now. It was a solution that we could cope with, but then OBS version 28 and 29 came out. And guess what? The Stream Effects plugin was not compatible anymore. So solution to be trashed list for now. I've seen videos suggesting to use Snap Camera, but guess what? Snap Camera has been discontinued and some other videos recommended to use Google Meet, but that was just a complex workaround. So let's go see how we can do it straight in OBS. The blur background effect can be obtained with a plugin that's called Background Removal Portrait Segmentation. Go to the plugin page and you'll find the link in the description. And here you can see that in the new release there are many new things added, among which there is the built-in background blur. Scroll to the bottom and select your operating system. I'm on Windows and I'll download the installer. When completed, double click on the exe file and launch the installer. In a matter of seconds, you'll be done. Now restart your OBS and let's go see how it works. Let's create a scene and call it webcam. In that scene, I will add a video capture device and add my Sony camera. Here I am. Click on OK. Now the only thing we have to do is right click on the camera source, filters, and here, in the effect filters, click on plus. And if the plugin installed correctly, you'll see background removal. Click on it. By default, the plugin removes the background. You can play with the threshold, contour filter, smooth silhouette, feather blend silhouette. For some reason, the light and the plant are not recognized as background. So let me try to turn the light off. Now it's better. The new thing in the new version of the plugin is that right at the bottom now you see blur background factor. We are at zero, so there is no background, but as soon as we raise this to one, three, or eight, or even more, then a blur will be introduced. And the higher the value, the higher the amount of blur. Let's open a new Zoom meeting. Turn on the OBS virtual camera and choose it as a camera feed in Zoom. This is how the blur effect looks like. Let's increase it and this is how it looks in Zoom and let's increase it a little more. Now let's turn off the virtual camera and use the native camera straight in Zoom and let's apply the Zoom native blur background effect. And that's pretty comparable to the OBS one. As you've seen, my computer was struggling a bit. And that's because the blur effect is resource consuming. I had the blur effect, two instances of OBS open, Zoom and other software. And that was definitely a bit too much to handle. So when you decide to use the blur effect, first test your setup. The only thing that I'm still skeptical about is that this filter seems to be applicable only directly to the source. Let's say that I want to use the blur background effect in one scene, whereas in another scene I don't want it. What I would normally do is work with nested scenes and apply the effect to the scene. However, that doesn't seem to work. Maybe something I'm not getting or maybe something to be fixed. If you know more than me, just let me know in the comments below. How happy are you with this new feature? I hope happy enough to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now if you want to take your remote working and communication skills to the next level, watch this next video here.